everybody who watched the Facebook Live event as we took one city block in New Orleans and turned it into a photography workshop on Facebook. So now I'm going to show you the images that we shot and I'm going to show you how I edit in my Lightroom workflow. So as you see down here, if I press G, let's go down back here, if I press G, brings it up to the grid format, shows you all the images. I can scale that back here or here, but for the uh, workflow here, we're going to press one image and go back to full screen so we can see what we're working with. So first thing I'm going to do is select our images. What I like to do is go over to develop and enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. That allows the Lightroom to sync in with whatever lens profile I was using, so it corrects it. So usually it will just correct the corners and the perspective a little bit to help us out. So after that taskbar is done, we'll go over our first shot right here. I love this shot of John. This is John Gross here. What I might do is bring it in a little bit, make it almost square, bring my highlights down just a little bit, Bring my clarity down, vibrance up, blacks down. I don't want to make this look too hyper real, but I do want to sharpen this just a little bit. So I'm going to scroll down to sharpening, and let's go way up here to see how we're doing before we start sharpening. So let's go up, sharpen. Great, that's awesome. Look how we got Frenchman Street in focus and sharp. Anytime you're shooting someone's reflective sunglasses, and if you can get their reflection across the street and the sun is shining across the street, you'll get a great reflection. So even this shot right here would be great cropped tight. But we're going to keep that just as it is. Look at that. Awesome. Love this right here. Let's fit that. So what I might do real quick in Lightroom is to bring this correction brush over. Ah, that might not work. Let's do that in Photoshop. So that one's good. The way I like to save, double click on the pad, export. We'll go 100 pix pixels at 72 DPI, meaning 1200 pixels wide on my long end here at 72 DPI, perfect for screen resolution. I have a export preset set up that it will export that to a folder. So let's go to the next shot. Here we got even closer. There's a little more contrast here. I kind of like this. I might bring my blacks down, increase my clarity, bring my vibrancy down just a little bit. And I might even use my selective brush here to bring back the saturation in his glasses and the, and the clarity. So I'm making his glasses even more colorful. Watch when I bring this temperature down. Watch everything gets a little blue. Pretty neat, right? Bring the exposure up if I want, or down. Just look at his glasses right here. I love the adjustment brush so I can only select things that I want. I like the mood of this shot a lot. So I might even just say done. I'm saved. Two fingers, export, 72 DPI. As we moved around, John, we are able to get way more colors here. I might increase the contrast here, bring my highlights down, increase that clarity, call it a day. So as you see, there's a certain workflow I have. I like to see what I have first, see if I could use just the natural light there, and if I need to tweak, I just make one tweak necessary. So bring my blacks down, increase contrast. Bring my vibrance down just a little bit, soften the clarity, soften his face. Bring up that sharpening right here. And I might even mouse over some of these presets to see if there's a good place to start. So Lightroom has presets. I downloaded some presets. Here's a Film 09. That's pretty cool. I might even keep that one. It's kind of nice. I might even increase the contrast a little bit. So 
Great filter right there, right? Thanks, David Dunn. Let's export that. And here's Martinique right here. Might even just bring these highlights down, increase a little clarity. Let's see what these film. Ooh, this cool film. Oh, I like the coolness here. Might bring that exposure down just a little bit. Bring the clarity up just a little bit. Bring that vibrance down. Yeah, see how it has a little bit of color? but it's almost monotone. Let's export that. I'm loving this. Okay, so this is the shot where we brought in a reflector and bounced the sun on Marty's face to match that of David's. I might just bring my contrast up right here, take my adjustment brush, dial in a one-stop exposure, highlight, and just paint her face just a little bit. Bring those shadows up. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what these filters are doing over here. So if you don't like a preset filter, you can always make your own. I might cool all this image off right here. Good, so let's save that. Two fingers, export, 72. And here's our friend Clint Majin in his home studio. I thought this was a little overexposed, but Nothing we can't fix later. Bring that vibrance down a little bit. Soften up our clarity and warm the overall image. I might even bring the vignette, post-crop vignette to crop, to crop that outside right here. So you see it's a little darker in there. It's kind of nice. Let's look at this other one. How do we do here? Uh, I like the color a lot better here. Sometimes we get a little overexposed and there's not a lot we can do about it. So let's bring the clarity up there. Bring our blacks up right there. That looks good. I'm liking that. Increase the vibrance a little bit. Eh, too much saturation. Let's call that a day right there. Export 72. This was Clint outside as we saw the light bouncing off the yellow building across from DVA. It's a little yellow, so we can cool that off this way. Even bring in a little more magenta right here. Bring those blacks down. I might straighten it here. I can pull the corner. So everything I'm doing right here, I will be showing you in my Just Shoot Raw Lightroom and Photoshop course. So let's bring the blacks down a little bit more. That looks great. Clarity, let's soften that up a little bit. I think this one's good to go. See, every image has its nice, unique appeal and effect. Well, let's do that so we don't get any more messages. Okay, here's Theracin jumping with Ryan of the Brown Coat Brass Band, crew of Chewbacca's. Let's hold down the shift button, grab the corner, and we can keep our perspective. We're going to keep this bike wheel out of it. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. This helps us with our rule of thirds as well. Good. We don't bring those highlights down too much. I love this. Look what's happening here. A line going down here, two lines here, rule of thirds, and another line here. Love it. Let's export that. And here's Hollis Smith right here. Good looking kid. Gonna bring the vibrance up right there, big time. Bring those shadows up, overall exposure, contrast. Look at that. Not a lot you need to do with this kid. Good looking kid. He's even throwing a little symbol right here. I don't know what that means, but I like it. So that's a great shot right there. I might bring down the headroom just a little bit. See how that out of focus element looks great. We can go over to our exposure. We're shooting with a 200 millimeter lens, f2.8 at 1 over 500th of a second in the shadows. Awesome shot right there. Export 72. Awesome. Let's go to our three folks hanging on the corner. I love this shot. A little too hot, a little, little too bright in the key light. I'll bring that down. Increase the clarity and the vibrance. Not a lot we need to do with this image right here. I'd say we're done there. 
I love this shot of Seva right here. Nice high contrast image. I might even pull down these highlights right here to make an even darker sky. Yeah, there we go. And also my vignetting. So you notice I'm doing this fast because I already see what I like whenever I'm looking at it. It might be a little soft. Let's look at it. I'm zooming in. Nope. Oh, nice and sharp. So let's save that one. Two fingers, export 72. Here's our image frozen. We're using a fast shutter speed. So we're at 1 over 8,000th of a second at f2.5, 50 millimeters. We know by the video that we just watched, his hand's moving really fast. But with a fast shutter speed, we can freeze that motion. But if we choose a shutter speed at 1 15th, we notice that we blur the hands, but his body remains still. That is done by coordination on both of our parts. So we, we make sure at least something is in focus and still in the shot. All right, let's export that. And let's get our last group shot. Let's do a fun filter for this one. Rounded corners white. That's interesting. Eh, Command Z. I don't like that. Let's see what Carl's presets do. There's a uh, color punch that I do like. There you go. Love it. Export. 72 DPI. And we are done. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Go to zacksmith.com to sign up for workshops or just stay right here on the business page and we'll be doing some more Facebook Live events soon. Thank you.